So it's fine. Diddy is a, I wouldn't say perfectly balanced, but he's decently balanced. Yeah, so it's definitely just, a great character. It's definitely interesting to see so many Diddies running around. I guess it's just because he's a pretty good character who can suit I'll, your needs in lots of situations. Oh, the fun is just going duck on. Okay. Versatile. Versatile is the word I'm looking for. That's right. Speaking of versatile, Duck Hunt proven to be versatile once more. Oh, as they open up the sets quite strong against JoJo. All right, Can, trying to make some pressure here, get some room. JoJo being very aggressive, trying not to respect those options too much. And Fawn has chosen Metal Gear music, oh. like she is wont to do. Metal Gear Solid 4 music. Uh, she picks of the Patriots, yes? I have no idea. She picks MGS music a lot. When we're playing at Waypoint, I have all my hack music. She picks. She goes to that menu very often. How how cool can you be to pick uh, Metal Gear music all the time? Because I want to be cool like that. <laughs> I pick the, the two remixes pretty often, but yeah. What's, uh, what's the best Metal Gear Solid and why is it three? It's three. Thank you. One and two are fantastic. They are masterpieces, but three is a masterpiece that made me cry. Ugly cry. Four also made me ugly cry, actually. Four I, is stupid. It, it is stupid. Fawn takes the first dog. But it's it's one that I appreciate in its stupidity. Four is... I did not like four. It was convoluted. Wait. It was way too convoluted of the story. Like, I mean, and it worked to the game's criticism. detriment. Like, it literally felt like Kingdom Hearts. The amount they were just dropping random exposition and proper oh. words on me. Nah, not as bad as Kingdom it's Hearts. It's not as bad, but it, <laughs> it was close. It was close. Speaking of which, not a pretty on the close board. game here. JoJ on the board, taking one stock off on. But JoJ still down 92%. Trying to avoid that can. And they did. Oh, honestly, I thought they were going to roll. It was just the monkey card instead. All right, the gunman. All right. Going over everything with a monkey flip. Monkey. M funny monkey. Monkey call. <laughs> All right, Joje, shrugging it off on their last stock. That can really just doing everything to just uh, make it safely, allow them to make it safely back. All right, trying to go for that fort. Really? All right, the can didn't save them, but definitely put Joje in a bad position. Oh, yeah. Too low to recover. Joje avoiding the clay pigeon. Definitely a great move, one that is underappreciated. Does the can come up frame one or frame three? One. One. Dang. I knew that was like coming out so fast. Alright, monkey flip scratches. It's quite an even game here. Oh. Fawn falling out of that forward smash. Joje grabbing back that banana peel. All of them flipping around just to get a stray hit. Great spot up there from Fawn. Clay Pigeon exploding when it was on the ground? You rarely see that. Uh-oh. Fire! All right. Forward air not taking it. Trying to mix up this recovery. <laughs> that's, a, that's a standoff right there. <laughs> Do -do -do. Oh, oh! Can catch in the monkey flip. Up air, but no good. But All right, can can't. they bring this oh. to an end? The can saving them? It's more likely than you think. Oh, Ooh. and Joje takes game one. Oh, Joje, it looked like he was holding his breath there. Fawn indicating running back. Run it back. We do not need counter picks or bans. Let's just go back. Why? I That's recorded okay. all of them. Set. I'll kill you, game. <laughs> I probably wasn't paying attention for the first one. You heard it here, chat. If Smash Ultimate dies, it's because John killed it. Yeah. Hey, Metal Gear Solid 2 music. Fantastic. We did get the run back, but we got the counter pick with music. I think it's Dead Cell. Do correct me if I'm wrong there, chat. All right, JoJ playing very aggressively here. This ledge pressure. 
Okay. Bomb trying to avoid that with uh, the up air. Trying to get back on stage, but uh, not happening. All right, Clay Pigeon there. Making some space. Can exploding in Jojo's face again and again. All right, good chase there in the air. Both at quite even percentages. Gunman coming in clutch. Monkey foot back on stage. All right, great grab. The banana peel actually keeping that can out of JoJ, saving him. Wow! Nice little diagonal there. Did change trajectory. And change trajectory again. Interesting. Did not know that that would clang with the forward smash. And yet, here we are. Bond making great use of that banana. Hey, if you can uh, grab Diddy's banana, it is always worth it. From my experience, it's not. Really? Because what uh, happens is you get the banana, and then suddenly your actions are limited, and Diddy just runs in and starts doing 50,000 aerials on you until you let go of the banana. That's fair, but if you do hit Diddy with it, it's pretty cool. Oh, it feels great if you do that, right? but ugh, I did not give Jojay his point. Jojay, here's your point. All right, Jojay finally got a point on the board there. <laughs> And Jojay also taking off a stock. Fawn is still in the lead here with a one stock lead. Jojay with the nares? Uh oh. Fawn falling out of that cartwheel. Ooh, these four tilts. No! Mm, no good. Got the, uh, the thing. Oh. The thingy. So anticlimactic. You know, the thingy. Yeah, the forward tilt. It was an odd angle. And I, I just don't think he was expecting it. As we can see there, it was a great change of trajectory with that can. Nobody expected it. And Joji just a little too far to scoop on into that up smash. But finally, Joji answering back right here with a, yep, a down tilt uh, forward air. What I'm referring to is when you hit Diddy and then he tries to do a rocket pax immediately and just falls like a rock for some reason. Right, like right there. Yeah, the thingy. The thingy. All Seems right. like they are going to PS2 for the final game. Ooh. Potentially Kalo, since it is Diddy. Or it is Diddy. Guess we'll see. I didn't see what stage it chose, but I heard I hear Pokemon music. Surprise, surprise. Last game. Okay, Kalos. it is Kalos. Kalos Pokemon. Kalos Pokemon. All right, Jojay with an amazing opening here, but Fawn answering right back. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Why did I say anything? Bro has two frame one options. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jojay doing a great job of just jumping around that uh, clay pigeon. Uh, but another clay pigeon comes out. Ooh, what? So I'm not saying this as a, like, duck hunt is overpowered statement because right. they're clearly not... But how is this not the best character in the game with their two frame one <laughs> options? Have everything else around them. They need something. Uh-oh. Whoa. Got ping. Double ping. Weird double ping. Actually managed to air dodge back out of it? That, that was an interesting situation. All I'm saying is I, get, I understand that Duck Hunt is not overpowered. My question yeah. is why, why did he is, hit the can? The uh, right in his face. It explodes automatically if you touch it while it's uh, on overheat. Ah, okay. Fawn has gotten herself killed a few times because of that. <laughs> oh! ah! Well, not this time. <laughs> Kill yeah, that the <laughs> That can came in so hot. <laughs> Literally about to blow up. Fawn has gotten herself killed a few times, literally trying to run past the can, and then it just happened to go into overheat as she passed by. Oh my god, all right. Forward air finally, take, forward air finally taking it off stage. Fawn just shrugging it off, going in for it. Ooh, solid 61% combo. All right, did he unable really to follow into the air? One of Fawn's classic strategies, shield with the can, so you can't hit her. It's safe. Oh! Okay. Wow. Waking up from a trip has less eye for him, so good option. All right, Can doing amazing work. All right, managed to avoid it. Unfortunately, no back air. Neutral air not going to take it. Fawn answering back with neutral air Ooh. of their own. Ooh. <laughs> it's <gasps> Ooh. Okay. All right, Jojay trying to get a conversion with that down tilt. Both 
just eyeing each other up. Just trying to find anything there. All right, can't no can conversion. Unfortunately, too high a percentage. It's really Joe Jay's doing the right thing instead. Right, but then Joe Jay's doing the right thing. Get shot. <laughs> All right. Joe Jay is doing the right thing though. He is when he's in a bad situation where he can't really approach Duck Hunt. He is just choosing to go to the other side of the stage and approach from a different angle. Right. Like it's not a matter of like getting the drop on the opponent. It's literally just a matter of positioning and strategizing. <gasps> Unfortunately not scooped. Oh, he jumped over the end. There's another one. Dodging into the ground, not a bad option. A little spot dodge there to try and avoid a surprise attack. Up air, another up air. All right, banana actually catching up oh, in the air. Caught the banana with down tilt. Interesting. Uh oh, all right, not approaching. Ping. Oh, letting go of shield at the wrong time. Thought Gonna get punished for it. Nice. Not the star KO cry. All right, but JoJ has a bit of a mountain to climb here. 113. That poor dog. Oh, what about the duck? No one cares about the duck. The duck doesn't scream in agony. It goes quack. It's All I hear is the duck going. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the the star KO sound should have been. I suppose. I would have been very happy with that. JoJ's on the board for this last stock. It's going to be hard, though, getting through it. Oh, it's a gauntlet. Yeah, he's got to get through all these projectiles. All right, you do have the... Uh, Without getting hit. Ugh. Okay, you do have the fast gun in the next, so it would be a surprise if uh, Fawn brings him out. Oh, no. It's a bag system. You it have to get all five before you can get the next one. Oh, it's five. I thought it was It's three. a bag randomizer, like Tetris pieces. Oh. Uh-oh. And <gasps> yes, that does mean... No! That right. was a shield poke. Okay, Fawn wins. Good job, Fawn. Fawn taking a 2-1. A great set, to be honest. Had a lot of odd interactions there, but I think it's probably just because, you know, Indeed. Duck Hunt. The shenanigans with the can. Diddy's mobility on top of Duck Hunt's uh, obstacle course. Oh, yes. I mean, hey, Diddy has the mobility of any character to get through this obstacle course. Oh, my God. I cannot <laughs> believe that happened. Come great on. Look at this. Mind. Look yeah. at this. All right. Let's see here. You go from there. Double jump. Fire. Fire. And then Whoa. the can gets them. And then it's a... No. No. Wow, Fawn didn't even have to press the B button there. Uh, when you hit the can, it basically belongs to you until it lands. Oh, yeah. So, you know, her, wow. gunman, her gunman shot the can, so it belonged to her. They are about to start the next set. Oh, my God.